It happens here. It's our weekly visit to towns and cities across Massachusetts. Today, Zach takes us to the Cape to meet a local man sounding off on his works of art. Yes, this artist makes handcrafted guitars inspired by the local beach. It's each one it takes months to make, but his goal is making beautiful music for someone else to play. It happens here in Yarmouth Port. It's home to the original Christmas tree shop. This Cape Cod community has salt and freshwater beaches, but you don't have to go to the beach to find sea glass. Sea Glass Guitars was born out of Roger Mello's love for Yarmouth's beaches. A few miles from the sand, he's making the instruments by hand, one piece at a time. I love doing it with templates, handmade, and it can take three to six months. To sand, taper, and contour every inch of the wood. This top will eventually be carved like a violin. Roger built his first guitar 10 years ago, but oddly enough, doesn't play much. After years of lessons, he found himself picking out details of the instrument instead of picking the strings. I'll pick a guitar up and I'll be looking at nut slots and headstock angles and the bridge height. Then I get up and I walk away. <laughs> Which is something I couldn't do. Each guitar type has the sea glass look with unique cutouts and seamless lines. Whichever type you plug in, each strum has a nod to Massachusetts. What do you call that one? That is a Route 6, okay. which is Cape Cod Route 6. That's my nor'easter model. Nor'easter. Well, it's perfect for the meteorologist. Oh now. my what gosh, did I didn't even think of that. Clients have referred to Roger as an artist, but he truly wants to be known for his sound. You can have the most beautiful guitar in the world, and you can still make a fool of yourself if it's not a good instrument. My goal is to make good instruments. Ooh, that is nice. And he does just that, makes very good instruments. The one thing he was saying was the name of the company, Sea Glass Guitars. He can't seem to figure out the science behind actually embedding Sea Glass into the fretboard. So that's going to be his next step, his next iteration. That'd be cool. That'd be really you cool. You sound pretty good, not bad. I don't know about